welcome back to Autumn Cars. We bought a Fiat 500. So we wanted a challenge, we wanted a bit of fun. Let's get to it. It's got a little bit of a problem here. Here's my colleague Stephen. Hold on. We'll start it up, we'll have a listen. Key part there, listen. Ready? Put the bonnet. <laughs> We're gonna take timing cover off and have a look. Other symptoms include it's lost all its coolant and it's pouring out the uh, timing cover. And on this engine there's a water pump that's driven by the timing belt. So we think water pump's failed or tension has failed or something like that. We hope it sounds worse than it actually that's is. What we're hoping, yeah. <laughs> Let's take the timing cover off, have a look. Did she say when the um, last owner mentioned when the last belt was last replaced? I don't think it's ever had a belt. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> so it's not only an old belt, it's now dried and saturated and potentially coolant. Okay. Yes. When are you going to get electric tools, Colin? I know, I should get electric tools. Manual labour! <laughs> <laughs> so just, there's one bolt here, right? Yeah. There's one bolt down here. Yeah. Uh, and Which looks like... That looks like everything. Oh. That looks... Uh, there's a sneaky one. Sneaky little bolt! Where's that? Oh, look, the Italians, they had a sense of humour. It's got to be behind the sticker. It really? Is as well. <laughs> <laughs> really? How annoying. The more I look at this car, the more I think it is actually a bit of a good gamble, this. We hope so. Right, this should just lift. Oh, I can already see glimpses of that belt. Nice. I'm trying to think of the most at word to describe. Oh! Oh, look at that. Right, let's get a bit of a zoomy on here. Uh, there you go, you can see. Oh my word, look at the movement in that. Whoa. Check it down that bottom end there. Has that got. Oh my. Whoa. <laughs> that. What's going oh on? Oh my there? god, look. Do you think that's just because the bearing's gone in the water pump and it's not tensioned anymore or. Probably. Because the water pump. Probably. That is so loose. Wowzers, well, and it all cracked as well, so yeah, definitely due a replacement. I want to start it again to see what it looks like then. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Rough running. It's probably going out of time slightly, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I reckon. I haven't even plugged it in or anything yet. This is just a complete gamble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, the belt's not even just about contacting. If you want to move that sprocket. Uh. Wow. Yeah. You can just about see that. Cool. That is naked. Right, so let's have a little walk around Fifi, as she's aptly named. I say this is actually probably cleaner for the 500 I've seen in a long time. Sadly, no aircon, but everything is just clean. The side of the seats, aftermarket radio. Let's have a look at the mileage actually, whilst we're here. Mileage is, you probably can't see that because of the glare, but it's 93, 93, 93,000. It's all right. Oh, the old classics aftermarket beep beeps. Seats are fine. It's nice and clean in the back. Let's have a look at it. See what the, uh, the boot is like. Didn't even check, it's got a spare wheel. Oh, beautiful. Looks like it's been used. Overall, it's looking good. Should be a nice gamble. Okay, so it's a new day, and uh, unfortunately our friend Stephen is ill, so he can't be here with me. So I'm just gonna have to crack on with this by myself. Wish me luck. As you can see, we have some goodies to install. Water pump, which is belt driven, and uh, tensioner, idler pulley, cam belt, uh, gasket for the water pump and uh, that's obviously the timing top cover as you can see just here. Okay so we've taken off the uh, splash guard here, um, we just had to take off a few of the screws in the wheel arch liner to get to the behind it um, but yeah that splash guard is off and all I've done is loosen off the alternator uh, which is two bolts you can see in the view there and just up there. Um, just loosen those off and then there's one more bolt right in the back. So you see the alternator just there in the middle. 
and that will take the belt off, the, the uh, auxiliary belt. And then the next thing to do is undo the three bolts right in the middle of this crank pulley, making sure when you put the thing back on, there's a little round indentation which matches up with that there. Otherwise the vehicle won't start because there is the crank sensor. I'm just gonna remove this next 10 mil bolt just in here. Okay, so next up I'm I've just jacked the engine up a little bit to relieve the tension off of the engine mount and we've got to undo these I think six, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts to take this upper half of the engine mount off. So let's do that. Here we go. I'm gonna put all the bolts back so I know where they come from. So now we've got some bolts here. I think there's four, one, two, three, four. All right, so here it is, four bolts, one, two, three, four, and uh, that's off, revealing a little more of the timing cover. Just this bolt to go. I'm gonna get this uh, crank sensor wiring out the way. Runs down that channel. All right, so now you can really see what's going on in here. Basically, that is our water pump pulley. And uh, check this out. Completely broken. The, the bearings in it are completely broken. And you've got to figure out if it's actually jumped a tooth on, on here or not. We may or may not use timing tools, so I don't know what's going to happen right now. We might just put it all together without the timing tools and just see if it runs. Because uh, I know now that uh, it's a non-interference engine, so worst case scenario, it's just take it back off again. Oh, and actually, can you see a couple of ball bearings from that water pump bearing? In part two, I replaced the cam belt and water pump, but then we found out it was about to get much more involved. <laughs> 